I'm Bobby Lee from Square. Today I'll be walking you through the in-app payments SDK to implement a secure, customizable payment form in your own mobile Android app. We also have plugins for this SDK that support Flutter and React Native, which you can learn about from our other videos or visiting our documentation. You can also integrate digital wallets like Apple Pay or Google Pay, but I'll save that for another video. Okay, prerequisites. Before you get started, you'll want to have Android Studio installed in your computer. You'll also need to make sure you have signed up for a Square developer account, as well as a Heroku account. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up Android Studio Terminal and then clone this Quick Start app repo. We'll have this linked in our description below. So I already have this app cloned and open here, so I'm going to navigate to the Android Manifest XML file. And you want to replace where it says Replace Me for the application ID. So to get that ID, we're going to head over to our Square developer dashboard. So once you're logged into the dashboard, your homepage will look a lot like this. The first thing you'll do is create a new application by hitting Create Application button. So give it a name. I'm going to use Super Cookie. Now that we're on the application credentials page, something to note. On the bottom left corner, you can toggle between sandbox and production credentials. I'm using sandbox for this because we're just testing things out. But after you're done testing, make sure to toggle this back to production settings. All right, moving on, we're looking for our application ID. So let's copy the sandbox application ID here and then head back to Android Studio and paste it in the XML file. So we'll paste it here where it says replace me and then save that file and hit play to rebuild the project and see the app running. So I'm selecting Pixel 2 as a simulator and make sure you have your build version as a minimum of 21. Now let's wait for this to load. Once it's up, you'll see our sample app running. Super cookie. Let's hit that buy button. Now you'll see a place order screen, click pay with card. We're going to enter some fake card details, which we've linked in our description below. There are other countries with different fake card information, so make sure to test accordingly. I'm using the fake US card details, which is 411, 111, 111, and then 1221 for expiration, and CVV is 111. It doesn't matter what you put for the zip code in the US, so I'm just going to put 900000. And some countries don't even require a zip code, so make sure to check that link below. Once all your details are in, click Pay. This generates a nonce, but it doesn't actually charge the card. This demo outputs a curl command in Loghead that lets us make a test charge. So to complete the charge, let's go back to Android Studio and open up Loghead. If we scroll up, you'll find the curl command. Let's copy this and paste it in a blank file. And as you can see, it's asking for our access token here. So to get that, let's go back to the Square Developer dashboard. Here's where I'll grab the Sandbox access token. Click Show and copy the credentials and hide it again. It's always best practice to keep this top secret. Don't share it with anyone or commit it to a public repo to keep your app secure. So back in Android Studio, let's paste that here where it says your access token. OK, now it's time to copy and paste this whole command into Terminal and see what happens. And look at that, success. We just made a test charge with Square's payment API for $1. And if we're in production mode, this would have been a real payment. So what's even cooler is if we can actually view the transaction details back in our sandbox test account. So once you're back in dashboard, click home on the top left and scroll down until you see this launch button. Click it, and it'll take you to the sandbox dashboard. And look, in your transactions, here's a charge we just ran. Pretty sweet, huh? But you know what would be even better is setting up a sample server. So let's deploy this to Heroku so we can see it live and run it on production. To do this, we'll open up the sample server repo. I have it in the other tab here. So I already have it open. And we'll make sure to link it in our description below. So scroll down, and you'll see this handy Heroku deploy button. Click on that and wait for Heroku to load. So add your app name. I'm going to use SuperCookie again. And now it also needs our access token. So let's tab back over to the Square Developer Dashboard and paste it here. Now we need an API base path. Since I'm using Sandbox, I'm going to use the path it provided. So paste that there. And now click Deploy. And this will take a minute to load. Now there's no need to open this up. We'll just right click View and copy the URL. So back in Android Studio, let's open up the config helper Java file. And you'll want to change where it says charge server host and set it to the Heroku link we just copied. Remove the HTTPS and save it. Great. Now let's run the app in the simulator again. Let's tap the Buy button 
and then pay with card. I'm going to enter test card information once again. So it's 411, 111, 1221, 111, and then a random zip code. So hit submit, wait for it to say success, and then quickly refresh this transaction dashboard. And voila, there's our charge. Excellent work. We've completed a manual curl and production style credit card transaction with in-app payments SDK. Now you can start building custom solutions. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for setting up in-app payments SDK for Android. If you have any further questions or you'd like to see more content, check out the links in our description below. And let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you build.